My name is Mary Greenwell and I'm going to show you how to do a nude look which is basically quite a soft eye and then a very pale mouth a la Brigitte Bardot. First I'm using Flawless and Poreless Primer by Pixie. Next is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation, really massaging it in. I never want to put on a foundation that is darker than the skin tone and in fact if it blends in on the neck it's the perfect colour. That is the way to test your foundation. Your foundation takes longer than anything else. This is a bit you spend time on. I'm now going to use the amazing Cosmetics Concealer. When you just pat it in, down onto the face a bit, onto the cheekbone, so it's seamless. Now I'm going to use highlighter in the autograph, just on the cheekbone, just here. And now I'm going to use the blush in autograph which is a gorgeous peachy colour. Just dab that on a little bit. I'm moving on to the bronzer, which is the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contouring Kit. It's fantastic, this product. Just a little bit under the cheekbone, just here. The next step is the eyeshadow. I'm going to use this palette from Bourjois, which I simply adore. That's all it is. I'm now going to use this pencil by Pixie inside the waterline here. It's going to make the eye kind of really big and wide and gorgeous and shimmery. Then I'm going to take the bronzy brown, which I'm just going to use in the roots of the lashes on top, just here. You can see how it just lifts the eye just a teeny weeny bit. The next product we're going to use is the wonderful mascara by Diego de la Palma. The only way to get mascara looking really good is if you go right into the roots. The next product I'm going to use is a really clever little brow stick by Stila. I'm first of all brushing the brows to see the shape and then I'm going to take the other end and fit it in. A nude makeup is really about a nude mouth to me so I'm going to achieve that by cheating. And I'm going to cheat by using a bit of concealer underneath the lipstick. If you don't have a pale enough lipstick in your makeup bag, this is a great tip to achieve a really pale lipstick. Then I'm going to go to the Autograph lipstick, which is an amazing colour. The lipstick is so similar to the skin tone that you don't have to use a lip liner for this. This is often called a foundation brush. I find it a really useful brush just to mat down the areas I want to mat. I like the chin, so I'm just going to mat that down. There we go. Down the centre of the nose, round the nose. And there we have the nude makeup look.